Ladies and gentlemen, this next match is a special taped fist match. It's scheduled for one fall. To win the match, you must get a 10 count on your opponent. Once again, to win the match, you need a 10 count against your opponent. here in the MEWF, men like Corporal Punishment, there's a third man who's won the Triple Crown and you're looking right at him. Oh my God, and Lucifer wastes no time, he attacks Bob Starr with the chair. He said time and time again after that attack, after he was blindsided by Bob Starr, that he'd have to pay for it and we're seeing it firsthand, fans. There's not gonna be an exchange of arm locks and leg locks. Well, I can guarantee you one thing, Ron Young, Lucifer may have read the book on cheating, but what he seems to forget is Bob Starr wrote it. Shots across the head. Oh, right into the guard barrier. This one's gonna break down early. Fans, this is just a taste of the mayhem here at the MEWF. Oh, wait a oh, minute. Yeah, you wanted to talk about cheating. Hey. Resorting to inter... Oh, that is a handful of salt or powder, some kind of... All's fair in love and wrestling. If Lucifer isn't careful here, he's going to get a face bowl. He's closing in. Oh, and he does <laughs> right the eyes. How can you laugh at that? This man could be blinded. That was great, Ron Young. I wish he had more. Shots to the head. Rumor has it Lucifer forgot his deodorant and Bob was just freshening him up. He's going to need some serious attention. He could be permanently blinded or injured or, or even worse. And it'd be the best thing that happened to the MEWF. Well, everything is hotly contested here in the MEWF, regardless of what the rules for the match may be. Tape fist or no, these two just have outright hatred for each other. Hatred cannot describe what these two men have been through. They've been up and down the road, they've been best friends, and they've been bitter enemies. And right now, it's we're going to find out which man's the toughest. Well, I'll tell you, Bob Starr has made his whole, has banked his whole career on taking on men larger than he is. Not that Bob is a very small statured man. No, but he, he specializes in that, Ron. He specializes in that. And if there's one man that he knows better inside and out than anyone else here in the MEWF, it's his former partner. Shoots him off. He loads up that fist right to the head. Count him out, ref. That's it. It's got to be it. Well, let's not count Lucifer out either. I mean, if there's a backstreet brawler around these parts, you're looking at him. You know, if ugliness were bricks, Ron Young, Lucifer would be a housing project. Well, right now, he's not in the best of shape, that's for certain. Bob Starr is going to have to pick him up. He may be out right here. Well, choking him across the bottom rope. Referee Howard Goldman's got to make a break right here. Bob's just toying with him, Ron Young. Just toying with him. I hate to say it, but it looks like Lucifer's out. He doesn't know where he is. One thing you gotta remember in this match, Ron Young, is a 10 count's a lot longer than a three count. And there's a shot of his own. Look at Lucifer. He didn't have a whole lot behind that punch, but it was on target. Now that one did, though. Skyrocketed Bob Starr back to the canvas. Lucifer mounting an offense here, Ron Young. The referees count. Now up to four. Come on, Bob, get up. Now, let me, now I gotta question this. If you gotta get a 10 count, even more so than a three count, what are you doing breaking the count? That just goes to show the hatred right here, Ron Young. I don't think this match is about winning. I think it's about hurting or maiming. Well, you see the, the anger in Lucifer shielding the referee from that blatant choke. Well, you see what happened last month, Ron Young, when Lucifer was attacked by Bob Starr, tied to the ropes, and then just beaten unmercifully. And if it weren't for the help of several other MEWF officials and fans and attendants at ringside, it could have gone to epic proportions. Look at that right across the head with the microphone. And this match could quickly become an I quit match. Once again, now it's one thing to have your hands taped up like a rock, but then to hit someone, hit someone with metal 
it just boggles the mind the punishment that these two men are taking. It's all about climbing that ladder in the MEWF, Ron Young. That's why we are the cutting edge. They're tearing this building down, Ron. I tell you, you have to worry about whether this is going to spill over. The fans at ringside don't seem too concerned. They just like to see these two beat each other up. Lucifer really needs to get a second win right here. He's definitely no worse for the wear right now. And Bob, Bob's playing it smart here, Ron Young. He's taking a few minutes to regroup. He is rested and he's ready to mount another attack. You gotta realize them 10 extra seconds in that ring gives Bob Starr the momentum for another five minutes easily. But Lucifer likes the long matches. When it goes long, when the pain and punishment are at all odds, this is the guy, when the chips are down, that likes to go for the gold. Well, there's no gold involved here, Ron Young. It's just about pride. That's all this match is about, pride. Lucifer was embarrassed. It's a tough man beyond contest. Beyond belief at what Bob Starr did just a few short weeks ago. I kind of enjoyed it. Bob Starr, high risk maneuver. We don't see this from Bob too often. Double axe handle right on target. Level the man. Yeah, there's nothing saying that it has to be a punch that knocks the man out for a 10 count. And the referee is right on top of the situation. That's exactly right, Ron. I mean, you got Bob Starr, who's got the Star Blazer. You got Lucifer, who's got the Samoan backdrop. Oh, look oh, at that. you got Lucifer with a super kick right there. Beautiful reverse thrust kick by Lucifer, right on target. Hey, oh, you've said it. Just what I was talking about, Ron Young. Samoan drop. And I would not be surprised if it's a move like that then we'll get one of these men counted out and not the tape fist. High impact punishment fans, that's what we serve up week after week here in the MEWF. And now, what's, who is this? What's he doing out here? That's Quinn Nash. It's Quinn Nash. He's taping up Bob's hand with a chain or some sort what, of object. What is he doing out here? The referee has no idea what's going on. Lucifer totally unaware. And now Bob, Bob knows what's going on. This is where stupidity will hurt you in the wrestling game, Ron Young. He must have an endless supply of tape on that roll. Oh, no. No, not like this. Not like this. What's he pinning him for? That, that just means nothing. But the referee's continuing to count. He's up to six. And, and now what's Quinn? Now he's taking the chain away. Oh, not like this. No, no, not like this. The referee's calling for the bell. Once he knocked him out, Ron. Once again, Bob Starr. Mike Tyson, keep an eye on that heavyweight title because Hollywood Bob's coming. Oh, give me a break. He's with some outside help from Quinn Nash. I can't believe it. I'm absolutely speechless. Oh, this is Oh, wait great. a minute. Oh, it's not enough that they've won the match, and now they're going to add insult to injury, and yeah, they just, dump Lucifer outside the ring. Now they're just doing their chores for the week, Ron Young. They're taking out the trash. A victorious Bob Star fans, and we're going to go. Em. We're going to go from tape fist to knuckles. That's right. When we come back, Knuckles Sandwich takes on a good friend of mine, Boo Bradley. Fans, stay right there. Don't.